Hi, I'm Riley Graves from Mariba. I'm 23 years old and I work for Muir's in Far North Queensland. To get into the horticultural industry, I started when I was doing a gap year for the DPI in Walkerman and I found my love for agricultural there. And then I started doing an agribusiness degree. And I did a Bachelor of Agribusiness through CQU Rockhampton and I found a job in my local small town and I had a go and I got the job. The most rewarding part about working in horticulture is being out in the field every day. This industry is really good. You are out in the paddock all day, every day, speaking to farmers, looking at different crops, meeting new people, getting new connections within the horticultural industry and watching our little town perform. The most memorable experience I've had in the industry to date is the recent avocado season where we had 80% plus premium packouts, the prices stayed well for the farmers and they got a reward out of that. Advice I'd give to someone who's considering working in horticulture is to just have a go, learn new things, be open to new ideas. The industry's changing every single day, so just being open to everything else that's moving around in the world. Working in agriculture in general, we get to see the start from when they're flowering to fruiting and we're a part of every process until they reach someone's bellies out of Woolies or Coles or wherever they're getting sold from. These are seedless Eureka. They're in flower at the moment and we are looking in the flowers for any thrip or any flower midge or any disease in them. Look between the flowers if there's any pests or diseases within the flower bunches themselves, as well as the whole tree and its coloration if it's missing any nutritional needs, as well as the canopy for any diseases. We do soil testing in crops to make sure they have the right nutrients as well as a basic test like this one to check for pH. If the pH is off or different, your tree will be taking up different nutrients and sometimes that means heavy metals when it, there's more acidic soils. So most of my job, about 75%, is out in the field doing crop checks, soil testing, talking to farmers, planning futures with them, as well as a little bit in the office to do our soil sample results that we get from our labs down in Tasmania and doing soil plans and spray plans for our farmers. To add to careers in horticulture, you have to have a passion for it have a bit of empathy and sympathy for farmers and understand struggles they go through and not just in your own role. You're always on the move, it's something new every day, different cropping. Up here there's heaps of different horticultural, dry land, sugarcane, all the rest of it. Just have a go and start doing it. <laughs>